Hello everybody, Steve here, and today um, I'm back with these Master Lock 176 four-digit combo locks, and I'm back because I have a special surprise for this one. But uh, before I get to that, um, my last video I showed, you know, opening this, you know, picking this lock open picking up the bypass lock and, and opening it up so <clears throat> but then I was talking about how um, using a hammer like this on the lock would open it up and how and I didn't really want to do that because I didn't want to hurt my hand but you know I'm feeling a little bit uh, adventurous today so let's see if we can get doing that instead of having this long shackle one have this shorter shackle one it's unlocked right now. Let's see it working. Get to the right combo here. Okay. And get the last combo. You can see it works just fine. I'm not going to mess it up. Still not right. Okay. Let's wish me luck. I've been able to do it twice <laughs> so wish me luck oh, come on you can do it maybe I should set it to the right combination and do it right now we'll do it oops There we go. Well, how's that, everybody? Still? Wait a minute. That looks like it's almost a combination. Pfft. Well, that didn't do any good. By the time I hit it several times, it ended up getting to the right combination. See? Yeah, maybe we can. I thought I was going to have to celebrate there for a minute, but. Let's try it one more time. Okay, it is on the wrong combination. It's way off, so hopefully it doesn't get to it. Come on. Oops. Okay, let's uh, move on. Anyway, the biggest reason I wanted to to show these again is because with this one I decided to do something a little different. Um, I'd barely finished up a, a project for someone, sent it off yesterday, and so then I said, hey, I want to do something with this. And I noticed that uh, the, vi the last videos I've done, um, first I showed a video where I had this disassembled and I put it together. And then I showed a video on many ways to open this up by, you know, <clears throat> by a uh, using the bypass tool and stuff like that and and even then I also had shown how um, how the bypass tool worked in there and then uh, last video I showed picking the lock or picking the lock with the bypass key so this time what I did is I took it out to the shop and didn't spend a lot of time but I made this into a cutaway just took a well, an hour or so, just cut a big old hole. I didn't really do much planning with it. I just hurried and took it out there and cut, took the housing off and cut it out. So here's the one side. I made this cut out here, and you could see the, the locking mechanism there. And then I cut it out right there so you could see the, see the numbers there. And then I cut it out up here so you could see see the locking paws in there you can see how it just it's on the wrong combination so then it, it does that <clears throat> and the re and then I also made a little cut out on this side so you can see in between these two wheels right in there and then you can also see the bottom of the shackle right here down there 
see that one thing that you notice is this is where you put the key in there to change the code and kind of hard to see in there but the shackle actually the bottom of the shackle is actually blocking that of where it goes into there so obviously you can't change the code until you have this lock opened <clears throat> but anyway then you can see the the bypass key there you can see the um, see it in there so let's take a look at what's going on well first of all this is on the wrong code so it doesn't open and since it doesn't open you can see how the the locking lugs go inside inside there and they're blocked by being uh, you know by moving in they're blocked by the little locking uh, bar mechanism and you can see that on this side how it's in and so that's in the middle of those so you can't see it <clears throat> and the reason why that's down is because this uh, this thing is on a pivot and so it goes in here in between the wheels and it won't go down until you get all the wheels to the right combination and then this will go down and this will lift up so let's show how that works so if I get to the right combination okay so you can see how that's still in there as soon as I turn it to the right combination All of a sudden, all of a sudden now, when you pop that open, see how that thing comes out, and how the what those little fingers there go down in between the wheels, and this comes out, and it uh, allows the little get my fingers out of the way, so it allows that to come out. So you can see that came up got it out of the way of those and now the whole thing will open up so let's see that again watch the camera so I can make sure I can show you guys well so it's on the wrong combination right now and you can see how that's blocking it so I'll turn it to the right combination there we go and now you can see it's still blocking and then as soon as I push that shackle in watch this little part right here that pops up these things go in between the wheels and that makes that pop up and that gets it out of the way and then I can pull it up so <clears throat> So when we look at how this works with this little bypass, we can see how in between the wheels, you have this little copper piece right inside there. You can see it turning around right there, and right there. You see how on the one side it has a little notch there, and that's not what we're looking for. And you go all the way around. See how you get this little flat spot? Oh, there goes my light. Let me turn that back on. Can you see it better? Maybe you can see it a little bit better with the light off, I guess. Huh? Maybe that's a good thing it turned off. So here I'm on the right number, and you can see the little flat spot down there, right down there, get a better pointing device. So you can see down in there, you can see the little flat spot. So now when you turn around, now you can definitely see that flat spot. 
do that. Get that right back on. Stupid thing likes to turn off. There we go. Okay, so what we're doing when we're putting the coat when when we're putting our decoder in here in between the wheels on the left side of the wheel, we are filling for that flat spot. We have, we put it in there, we fill that flat spot, and that's how we know we're on the right thing. Now, some people will fill on the bottom of the wheel and fill the flat spot, which is fine, because what you want to do is you want to fill for this flat spot on every single wheel, and then, it, then you try to open it up, and if it doesn't open up and you know all the flats are in the, right, are in the same spot, and it doesn't open up then you can turn the wheels one turn one number on each wheel try it again and then keep doing that until you get to the right one but basically that little flat spot has to be right at the top here so that this part of the locking mechanism <clears throat> will go down when you push push this in I have one that's off, two's off, okay, so, yeah, so now you have that flat spot right there, right underneath this little comb thing, and now as soon as you push that down, then it'll go down. So let's see if we can get a good view of that happening. So let's get that to the right number. You can see the flat spot inside there, right at the top of the wheel, or front of the lock, wherever you want to call it. So as soon as you push that in, see how that goes down, allowing it to open. So that is the whole purpose of that decoder, is to find those little flat spots in there. To find the little flat spot so you're actually the code decoder decoding tools in between this part of the locking this part of the locking part paw from this side I like to call the comb looks like a comb that's why I keep thinking comb but anyway so your decoding tools right in between that and in between this Part of the on the other side of the wheel so you're actually riding right on on that wheel to find the flat spot of that wheel so anyway enough of that that's how that works so the other thing that this does is allow you to put this in between the wheels and push allow you to push it up so I've noticed with <clears throat> I mean you got a big area here and to get to to lift it up you know different spots to lift it to or get in between and so the best way I found to get in between these wheels is actually on the right side of the wheels and I've noticed these middle two work the best but you because that has the most most room I have a really clear path getting in there so I'll put it on the right side and you can't see it but basically um, if I I'm going in on the right side of the wheel and then just kind of fishing my way the stupid light keeps turning off on me it's plugged in anyway so it goes in between underneath the locking pond goes all the way up to about here and you can feel it touching the end of the this lock the, um, the tail piece this lock 
and then that's when you lift it up so you're actually lifting up I mean it's pivoting right about here where the spring is and so you're actually getting right on the other side of where that pivot point is and lifting it up so I'll position that in there and I'll push the shackle and it's locked so it's not going to go so I'll push the shackle and I'll lift this up see how I can lift that up that means I'm lifting that up out of the way so that I can let, pull the, let the shackle come out so anyway that is what I did yesterday I took this lock cut it apart and so then you could see in between these two wheels see that part in there so when the change tool comes in it will actually push push this copper piece it'll push it to the other side and disengage the wheels from this thing and then you change it to your to the um, code you want and then it'll go back in maybe I can oh, I'm going to change tools upstairs. I was like, maybe I can show that real quick, but oh, no, I don't have it with me. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that, my nice little cutaway project yesterday. And, well, should we try to do this again? Let's see if. Get this set. Yeah, I guess I could tell you the number. I mean, it's still the same as last video. 4762. I was really worried about it. There. Go change it. So it's not that hard to change the code. So that's open. Now let's get this messed up. Okay, you ready? Kind of when I when I was able to get it open before, kind of was almost hitting it out of my hand type of a thing. There we go. How's that? Yeah, still the wrong number. It's not the right, not even close to the right number. And we got it open. We finally, finally got it on camera. And that's only like third or fourth time I've actually done it so there we go we have we finally got this open with the hammer now my hand kind of hurts a little bit kind of tingly <clears throat> and we got this cut away and I was able to show it to you but anyway Thank you very much for watching and seeing my adventurous self today. So anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching and oh, stupid light, uh, whatever. Anyway, shut off on me again. Maybe it's not plugged in. All right, I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and make sure you leave a comment down below. And make sure you like this video and definitely subscribe. It's uh, one thing I've noticed is I've, I've never really thought of paying attention to subscribers and likes and views and stuff like that. But it's been kind of fun to see all the views coming in and seeing all the, the uh, people subscribing and stuff. And so that's kind of fun to see. And <clears throat> I hope I definitely... You definitely enjoy this and make sure you leave a like and and definitely comments and please 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 subscribe so thank you very much everybody for watching and have a good day